All right, here we go. The mystery duelist. Let's do it. It's not that loud. Hold on. I gotta put up my Astros because it's not that loud. Despite defeating Pegasus in the Duelist Kingdom tournament, Yugi noticed that the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle was worried about their uncertain future. The Millennium Puzzle connects us, Yugi, and I sense that fate has more in store for us. And we're in this together, no matter what. Good. I wish I knew more, but our future is still unclear to me. I'll help you figure it out. Later that day, Yugi and Teya came across a fortune, a fortune teller and offered to tell Yugi his fortune. Yugi welcomed the opportunity. What are you doing, Yugi? Teya, maybe this fortune teller can help me figure out the fate of this spirit inside the puzzle. The fortune teller asked for a personal item which he could use to tell the future. He in indicated the Millennium Puzzle would be perfect, so Yugi reluctantly, reluctantly, re what? Fuck! I can't even say the word. Handed it over. Yugi realized it was a ruse when the fortune teller fled with the Millennium Puzzle, leaving a trail of arrow of arrows for Yugi to follow. It was a trap, but Yugi had no choice. When Yugi tracked down the thief, he discovered that the fortune teller was none other than Bandit Keith. But there was something different about him. Something or someone was speaking through him. What happened to you? I'm not Bandit Keith. I only speak through him since he's become my mind control my mind controlled slave. Whoa, dude, you can't say that. Who are you? And what do you want with my Millennium Puzzle? I, I desire the power your item contains within, but according to the rules of its ancient magic, I have to win it from you in a duel. As for who I am, let's just say that I'm the one who shall control your destiny as I have controlled others, and that I am not unfamiliar with the power of the Millennium Item. I understand more about their hidden mysteries than you will ever know. Take your Millennium Puzzle. There are ancient secrets buried within it of which you are, you and even the spirit that inhabits it, it are unaware. I don't know why I just went all slow. That's why I will add it to my collection. The Millennium Puzzle was out of his reach, so Yuki reached out with his mind to try and connect to the spirit inside the puzzle. I can barely hear you, Yugi. Our bond is weak. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with this duel. You'll have to fight him alone. Alone? But I never fought a duel without you. You can defeat him. Just tr trust yourself and your deck and you'll find the way. Prepare to lose your precious puzzle. I don't think so. Remember, Yugi, I have seen your future and foretold your fate, and this duel will be your last. It's time to duel! Oh man, that was a lot of reading. Holy shit. It's okay. I'm good. My throat's not hurting right now. But it's gonna start hurting if, I, if it's this long all the time. Also that I'm fucking kind of screaming it. All right, here we go. They should have it that you can draw like six cards. Isn't that the rule that you have to draw six cards? The fuck is this? First, I said one card in defense mode and one card face down. That will end my turn. Let's see what you got, Bandit Keith. Mechanical Chaser. No, I don't. I don't need it. See, that's why I don't need it. Get, shut the fuck up, you stupid card. My draw. Shit. I said, what card in defense mode? And that is all. I need. I need good cards. Oh. Oh no. 
Activate magical hats. Uh, I'm going to put in. Uh, fuck out of oh, spell binding circle, and whatever this card is. Yeah, here we go. Protect my beaver warrior. Wow. My draw. When your opponent activates a spell card that targets exactly one monster, land no other and no other cards on the field, target another card that would be an appropriate target that spell now targets the new. Okay. I sacrifice my face down card to summon my monster, Curse of Dragon. Curse of Dragon, attack the mechanical chaser. That's it. I end my turn. Holy snap of a fuck. Okay. Oh, dear. Well, my draw. Fuck. Oh no, I can't do this. No! One more move. I don't want. Please! That helps me survive one turn. Great. Oh, come on. My draw! I lost. Oh, wait, no, I did. No, I, wait. I, did, I lost. I'm pretty sure I lost. Well. Isn't that a fucking great surprise? He's already summoning that monster. What? My draw. First, I set a card in defense mode. Put a card face down and end my turn. Graceful charity, huh? I activate spellbinding circle. This card, uh, this card can target one monster and it is unable to attack. Yeah, how do you like that? that? Was just desserts. My draw. Target uh, one summon skull thunder type monster you control. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Defense less, less than the attack of the monster you you cannot conduct your battle phase. And you turn you activate. What do you mean? What does that mean? Defense. So. Well, let's activate the car then. I sacrifice my defense monster monsters to summon my summon skull. I activate. Let's see what this does. Make it the magical mist. My summon skull. Let's see. Oh. Ah, I see. That's it. I can't attack this turn. At least your monsters destroy. Oh. Huh. You know, the rules say that th that card has to like What what's going on here? Ah. Okay. Whoa. Wait, they get to his hand? Oh, that's fucking bullshit. Polymerization. Wow, all magic. All magic. 
Magic cards, trap cards. Wow. That's a bitch. Fuck. Okay, well, my draw. First off, I start with placing two cards face down. Then I summon. What the fuck is his name? Kawamu? Kaumaru? Well, I fucking don't know. I summon Dragon! I'm just gonna call it that. Dragon. He's, his new name is now Dragon only. And then I activate Monster Reborn to bring back my summon skull! Now summon skull! Attack! Lightning Strike! And Dragon! Suicide! And target one monster your opponent controls and one monster you control. Destroy the first target and give control of the second target to your opponent. Okay, so uh, like when I have a weak card. Tribute to the Doom. No. I activate Fairy Hands Mirror. Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh. That's unfortunate. I don't want to summon this card. I know what that card is, and I don't want to trigger it. I have no choice but to end my turn. Seven tools abandoned. How... Oh my god, no! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh fuck me. Shit. Uh. Oh. Ooh. Hello. I summon my Celtic Guardian. I activate the spell card Pomerization. Diffuse my Gaia and my Curse of Dragon. To summon the all powerful Gaia, the Dragon Champion. Oh, but that's not all. I activate Mystic Box. And target your monster, whatever the fuck it's called, and my Celtic Guardian. It destroys it and gets control over my monster. Now, curse uh, Gaia the Dragon Champion attack! That will end my turn. Nothing, huh? My draw. Gaia, the Dragon Champion, attack again! One more turn. And you're done for. Oh, okay. Well, stack corrected. Shit. My draw. I activate Swords of Revealing Light. It gives me three turns. I think my voice just cracked, but I don't care. Come on, please. My draw. Set up my defenses, I guess. Place one card in defense one, that's it. My voice is leaving me. Help, please. Not so fast. I activate Fairy Hands Mirror. Please don't tell me that's another one. Yes! Let's finish this! I activate Ancient Rules! This lets me no more summon any monster I would like. 
And I summon my Gaia, the Fierce Knight! Gaia, finish this off! Attack his life points directly! And that's all she wrote. As Yugi battled Bandit Keith, Evil Bakura found his way to the duel, find the Millennium Puzzle's energy with his Millennium Ring. Fascinating. It appears the shadow magic energy I detect are within Yugi's opponents. Bandit Keith is just a puppet under the control of an evil master. Well, this puppet show is over, for I alone shall possess the Millennium Puzzle. My rings se sever the strings that bind this man. Free his mind from the Shadow Realm. Bakura uns Unseen Bandit Keith was freed from the mind control, making Bandit Keith's con uh, controller wonder what happened. What happened? My Millennium spell over my Millennium spell over Keith has been broken. But how? Only the power of another Millennium item can sever a connection so strong. Huh? Where am I? Well, wow, that's all you have to say? Okay. Next duel. Battle City begin. Yugi was disturbed that there was now an unknown foe attempting to take his Millennium Puzzle. He felt unprepared. He didn't know enough about the puzzle to understand what danger he now would have to face. Hey, how's it going, Yug Yugi? I was about to say just Yug. Not so great. I need your help. And so does the spirit of the Millennium Puzzle. Whoever it was that stole the puzzle seemed to know a lot about the about its past. That remind reminded the spirit how little he knows about it. But hanging out with you might help him figure things out. Sure, but how exactly am I going to do that? You always have great advice. Just take. Just talk to him. Oh no! Shit, I, I don't know what the- Ah, fuck! I, I, I accidentally skipped. Accidental. Accidental, I'm sorry. It didn't want to go, so I pressed A twice. They saw an ancient stone carving that depicted a battle between a sorcerer and a pharaoh. The pharaoh bore a striking resemblance to Yugi, while the sorcerer looked just like Kaiba. As they stood in awe, of their discovery, a mysterious woman walked up to greet them. My pharaoh, I've been expecting you. Huh? Who are you? I am... I forgot her name. Ishizu, Ishizu of the Egyptian Historic Historical Society. I have uncovered many mystery mysteries about you. And these ancient carvings using the magic of my millennium necklace. Another millennium item. Like your Millennium Puzzle, this necklace affords me certain powers. With it, I have gazed 5,000 years into the past, to a time with evil sorcerers threatened to destroy the entire world. However, there was one king who possessed a magic powerful enough to stop the evil threat. The pharaoh who saved the world was you, and now the time has come for you to rescue mankind once again. To rescue mankind from what? How do you know the world is in danger of being destroyed again? My Millennium Necklace also shows me visions of the future, my pharaoh. The events of the past will occur once again, and that same great evil will return to threaten us. How will I recognize the evil? I know that your memory has faded and that you seek many answers. I also know a dual monsters tournament is beginning. If you win, if you win it, you will find your answers. The tournament that issues the Ishizu was ref was referring to was Seto Kaiba's Battle City tournament. Joey and Yugi both received invitation to participate. All entrants were given a special transparent card known as a locator card. The tournament attracted a group of duelists known as the Rare Hunters. These evil duelists, they are thieves intent on stealing the, mon the monster rare tool monsters cards. Fuck, my throat is hurting! Joey lost his red eyes black dragon 
to a rare to a rare hunter named Seeker. Hoping to win back his car, Joey challenged him to a rematch. You got my red eye, you got my red eyes, and I want it back. So it's time to duel. I have no desire to duel you. I've already relieved you of your red rare red eyes. My hunt for your deck is over. Well, that's too bad. I'm not leaving until I win back my red eye. Joy, what's going on? Yugi Moto. He has an item my master desires. This guy owes me a. Ah, whoa! That was a voice crack. This guy owes me a rematch so I can win back my red eyes. I already told you that you have nothing that's of any use to me. But perhaps your friend would be interested in being my next victim. I would be my it would be my pleasure to hunt the duelist kingdom champion and snare his dark magician. So I challenge Yugi Moto to a duel. Fine, rare hunter, I accept your challenge. It's the only way to win back your card, Joey. If you win the duel, I'll hand over my dark magician to you. But if you lose, you must return Joey's red eyes black dragon. Oh my throat. I never knew reading so much would be so painful. Reading is bad. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's re it's really good for you. All right. Whoa. Skip the draw phase of your opponent's next turn. Ooh. I set a card in defense mode. And a card face down. It's your, it's your move. Activate Time Seal. It will now skip your next draw phase. Dark. Okay. My draw. Okay, so that's the only card I have right there. I summon my Celtic Guardian. Celtic Guardian, attack! Hold on, what's this card I saw first? Double any da uh, battle damage your opponent takes when they attack this monster. Okay. Your move! Yeah! Oh. Regate? What? Ho. Oh. I summon Beta, the magic, the magnet warrior. I said the magical warrior, the magnet warrior. And uh, end my turn. But now, since it's your turn, I activate. Uh, activate my trap card. Dust Tornado! It lets me destroy one spell or trap card on the field, and I destroy your sword! Now it's my draw. While this card is face is on the field, monsters cannot be set or flipped face down. If a monster card would be set, it must be normal summon the face up defense position mon uh alright. I don't want to use it now. Actually, no, 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 no. I attack with beta. One step closer to getting that red eyes. Activate light of the in yeah, something like, I don't know. Intervention. Huh. Activate Monster Reborn to bring back my Gamma, the Magnet Warrior, in defense mode. I don't want him to kill him. Beta, attack! How many turns does it work on? Or maybe this is this card. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, now he can draw. I don't like he's just drawing cards. My draw. I summon Silver Fang. Now I flip my gamma to attack mode. Or I switch it to attack mode. Silver Fang, attack! Attack Beta! And attack Gamma! This duel is over. Yeah! You, you won! I'm taking George Red Eyes and your locator card. I lost! I failed! Forgive me, Master! I tried my best! No, please! Don't be angry! Yugi, what a wackos lost his mind. Remember me, remember me, Pharaoh? Actually, perhaps you don't. You were trapped in the puzzle when I dueled little Yugi. Congratulations on defeating my rare hunter, though he was the weakest duelist in my crew. My other minions will prove much more formidable. Yugi, what's with this freak show? Pharaoh, I've waited for you for years. Finally, after all this time, I will destroy you. I will not allow my other rare hunters to fall, not to fail, like this one. I have little time for his kind of foolishness, so I've taken over his body and trapped his mind in the shadow realm. I am in control. How do you control? How do you control him? Each of the Millennium items contains its own unique power, so my controls. It's a simple task with my Millennium Rod. Allow, allow me to introduce myself. Remember my name, Merrick. Merrick, what is you? Ah, what is you? What is it you want from me, Merrick? I want what belongs to me, and I'll take it using the strength of my Egyptian God cards. G Egyptian what? Millennium ago, a trio of powerful behemoth. Rampage throughout ancient Egypt. These Egyptian god monsters spread destruction throughout the world until the pharaohs sealed them away for eternity. But when Pegasus created dual monsters, he resurrected these mighty beasts as cards. With these Egyptian gods, I can destroy you and claim the power I deserve. You'll never claim the Millennium Puzzle. You misunderstand. I want more than the power of the puzzle. I want the Pharaoh's power, the boundless energy of the ancient ruler himself. With it, no one will stand in my way. I use the almighty magic I gain to conquer and lead the world. I will be unstoppable. The end is near. Pharaoh, it's my world now. Not yet, Merrick. I'm beginning to understand why Ishizu asked me to participate in Battle City. It's my destiny to stand between you and the evil power you seek, and I will. Pharaoh, your days are numbered. Enjoy the game while you still can, because your reign is coming to an end. Man, what was... Man, that was weird. I knew that guy was a big creep, but who knew that he was just a front for another creep? Here, Joey, take your red eyes back. You hold on to it. It isn't mine to take, pal. You won't. Uh, you want. You want it fair and square. Besides, the rare hunters, the rare hunters, what? collect tons of rare cards. Their decks are all supped up, so I know they're gonna be tough to beat. Even for you, you always. Ha you always had my back, so it's time for. Uh, it's time I helped you for a change. That's why I want you to keep my red eyes. I know it's gonna come in handy for you sometime besides this means that a part of me will be a part of your deck it's kind of cool knowing that I'm helping you save the world don't get me wrong I'm still I'm still in the contest because I still have the rare car requirement recovered red eye wasn't the only rare card in my deck you gave me another rare card way back when I started playing dual monsters remember the Time Wizard. Yep, it's bailed. It's bailed me out. It's bailed me out of jams at Duelist Kingdom, and I know it's gonna save my butt in Battle City. You know, 
when you think about it, both of our hearts are in our duel are on our decks. We're a team together. We won't let any duelist beat us. God, they talk a lot. Well, whoop this. Uh, we'll whoop this Merrick's creep. We'll, we'll whoop this Merrick creep and his rare hunter's goon squad so hard they won't know what hit them. They'll be sorry that they ever decide to mess with us. Thanks, Joey. I'll take good care of your red eyes. You're a true friend, Joey, and together we can take on any, any evil that comes our way. Ah, oh, finally! It's over. It's over, my throat can rest. Alright, I'm gonna end it there. Uh, my throat can't handle any more reading. I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a nap. Alright, see you guys later. The next one we're gonna see the Master of Magician. Catch you guys on there. Catch you guys there. I, you see I can't even talk anymore. Goodbye.